Hey everyone and welcome back to Woo Woo Wednesday where I share my intuitive insight and weekly wisdom with you through the use of Oracle cards. I'm Brittany Carmichael, the founder of Shine School and the Shine from the Inside Oracle, where I empower women to break free of the fear that stops them from shining their light. I am so excited to be back with you this week. We recently had a full moon, so it was a lot of release, a lot of creating space to let go of, and um, I took a quick trip out to the woods to photograph a family that I have been capturing for the last 10 years. It's been a while, and so we had a fun reunion, and it was really nice to get some downtime. So I wanna check in with you guys. How are you feeling? Where are you at on a scale of one to 10? Let's tune in, breathing in, filling up your lungs and then scanning from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. How do you feel? Are you holding any tension? Do you have any stress going on? How's your mental chatter today? Is it out of control? Or do you feel at calm or at peace this week? So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being amazing and one being like, whew, not so good. How are you feeling? Drop that in the comments below. Let us know, let us know, like me and the animals, they're hanging out with me. <laughs> let me know where you're watching from and how you are feeling. Vanessa says, no wonder I've had an emotional purge this week. Yes, we just did an entire podcast on the Elevated Life all about energy management and protection because right now our physical energy, our emotional energy, our mental energy, all of this is kind of being recalibrated. So we need to know what our baseline is so that we can create a sense of boundaries. So if you struggle with energy management or setting those boundaries or protecting yourself, then I highly recommend you check that one out. I'm um, good, seven, I took the day to rearrange my space and gave my kitty a bath. You know, those days feel so good where you just have time to do the small things around the house that make it feel homey and nurtured, like you feel nurtured because you've done something great. I hung up all the laundry yesterday. We had a photo shoot and I had, I had clothes from the trip and we did video shoots out there. I had clothes from the photo shoot. I had clothes on clothes on clothes. It was like a little overwhelming. I'm like, girl, we need to get it together. We need to get rid of some of this stuff. So I was able to put everything away, create space, and it felt so good. And now I feel like I have the mental focus to be able to work on the other projects that I've got going on. Um, Mother Ocean beat me up last night. Oh, well, that emotional turbulence, the water is maybe symbolic of what's going on. Angela's at a four, Jackie's at a six. All right, it's okay. It's okay wherever you're at on your journey it's so important to embrace the now and know that you have the choice to change it so that you don't get stuck and stagnant i think that's the most important thing um rachel says i wish i could stay and watch but i have a client walking in the door um ooh, and i bought the air body spray finally got it in last night loving it oh my gosh so exciting well thank you for being here make sure you come back and watch the replay um hello everyone hello sophia um all right so we've just checked in we're seeing how we're doing on a scale of one to 10, we're kind of like feeling it out. We're going through a time of release and we're really stepping out of the old and into the new and it can feel a little uncomfortable. It can feel a little bit weird because we aren't fully integrated in the newness and we're feeling way out of a line, like out of alignment with the way we used to operate in the old. So we kind of feel like we're stuck at this in-between and being able to navigate that in-between space is really where your tools that you've been practicing and learning and acquiring and um, it, it gives you the opportunity to put the, to, put, to put the pedal to the metal and see like do do you really thrive under pressure are you really living that cool calm collected life that you talk about for me I can I can share a, a past example when we were changing into Gemini season that last day of Taurus Wowza it was a test and so I'm sure everyone um, went through that massive test on Friday where it was like this is just so much challenge so think back to last Friday did you have a challenging situation come up for you or maybe over the weekend for us we had so many obstacles like the camera that we rented got canceled so we overnighted the next one it didn't show up then they couldn't like it just thing after thing after thing just kept piling up and we just stayed calm and we stayed calm. And looking back now in reflection, Chris and I talked about it on our walk this morning, like, wow, like that was so many little tests of things that don't really matter. Like if we don't show up to our jet skiing appointment, like 
on time and we miss it, like, okay, it's not the end of the world because we're waiting on this camera that didn't show up. Like, it's all small stuff, but it can, those small stuff that build up over time can make someone explode or it can make them utilize the tools to practice what they have been working on to stay calm, to stay present, and to not let the little shit bother them. And I am, I can say with full reflection over last weekend, like that was challenging because I just felt like I have no control over the situation and that can cause a lot, that can bring up a lot of the stories that we tell ourselves. So I felt like the sense of I have no control over this and I just kept saying to the angels like bring it now <laughs> bring it now please can you bring it like is it coming and it never came so I'm like well obviously there's something better so I just gave myself that permission that throughout the entire challenge like there's a reason for this and there's something better and there's gonna be something that good like good that comes out of it so when shit hits the fan the thing that you can ask yourself is what good can come from this and that's gonna help you to shift into a positive mindset to be able to figure it out um, so that you can stay calm in the moment. Hello, Vic. Uh, let's see. Jackie says, told my family I'm taking an extra day for myself before driving out to see them. I love that. So now what I'm seeing is a collective uh, throat chakra healing happening where we are voicing what we need. We are speaking up for the things that we no longer will tolerate. And we're also speaking up for the things that we need. I'm literally shuffling the cards like the wrong way. <laughs> let's get it together, girl. Okay, I'm going to flip them over with the intention that we all receive the message that we need to be able to speak our truth since that's what we're talking about right now let's speak our truth let's bring our voice up to the front so whatever you've been repressing whatever you need to express whether it's emotional mental or even physical because I see a lot of the women in my mastermind right now are saying consistent movement is the thing that they are are struggling with but they need the most so movement getting that energy flowing is a really big topic right now so I feel like I want the message to be centered around like what, is this card flipped over? What the heck? I want this to be centered around like what is the, is the expression that we need to get out of ourselves, no matter what that may mean. Um, okay, so I'm gonna shuffle with that intention. If you guys are ready for this message, just drop I'm ready in the chat below. Hit some hearts, let me know. Let's get this party started. All right, I'm gonna pull three cards. And then we're gonna go from there. So I had this idea yesterday and I wanna run it by you guys. What do you think about next Woo Wednesday? I pull cards for each Zodiac. So I've been thinking it might be fun because I can't do individual readings for all of you on the live, but what I could do is pull one card for each Zodiac um, and give a quick synopsis of that. So let me know what your thought is about that. I thought that would be kind of fun to change it up. All right, what do we need to know to be able to clearly express ourselves? What is, did you guys hear that? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Three cards came out. We're just going to roll with that. They just like shot out of the deck. I love when that happens. I did a reading earlier today for someone and every time I would flip a card, it would be three cards, three cards, three cards. I'm like, holy smokes, they're talkative today. So Mercury is, is moving in its retrograde season. You know I'm down for that. Oh, Carrie, I love it. Aquarius power, 100% test out the Zodiac idea. Yeah, I think that would be fun. I've also thought about doing like, let me know what you guys think about this. I have been, you know, I don't, make a lot of YouTube videos, but Chris and I have been thinking about doing more YouTube videos and more lives. And one of the ideas I have for the YouTube video is as a yoga instructor, you guys probably don't know that about me. I don't share a whole lot of my practice um, on social, which is what got me thinking. When the women come to the retreat, one of the things that they love the most is the yoga that I guide them through. So I've been thinking about doing like monthly moon yoga sequences. So like full moon in Scorpio, and we do some things that like get the emotions flowing since it's a water sign, you know? So let me know your thoughts on that. I'd love to throw that out there. I've got all kinds of fun ideas kicking around in my brain. So my creativity is like back on fire. And I wonder if you guys are feeling that too. Like summer is here, there's more sunlight. So there's more creative energy. Carrie says, hell yes, yoga videos, yup. Okay, 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 I hear you, I hear you. 
I'm gonna try some new things. We're just gonna make it fun, right? I'm all about right now in my life and business with experimenting things, like with new things that bring more fun into my life. Chris and I, before I read these cards, I'll share one last thing. Chris and I have decided to have the summer of fun, and so everything that we're doing right now is like how, like how much fun can we have? Like what are the things that bring like that nostalgic feel back? Even, I mean, it's so crazy. Even last night, my mom stayed and watched our animals, which she doesn't normally do that, and she slept in our bed and she changed all the sheets but I told her just leave the duvet don't worry about it. it's like a whole big thing to like wash but last night when I put the blanket on it's my duvet smelled like my mom and it made it like took me back to my childhood to my grandmother's house like it just flashed back all these memories and, and like good feely feels and that's what we're trying to create this summer so I don't know what your summer vibe is but our vibe is how much fun can we have and I told Chris at the end of the summer I'm gonna take like a one second clip um, video of everything that we've done and like stitch it together for a bit like a reel or something so we can remember like we are doing fun things in our life because that's ultimately what life is about right isn't it about finding and exploring new avenues and adventures that invoke curiosity and fun and excitement and passion <laughs> namaste and hairspray i'm here for it i love it so I just feel like finding the fun this summer is like our key goal. So I wanted to just share that with you. I think it is a really great way to um, bring yourself into the present moment, which gives us the ability to be an open channel for spirit, to get that next aha moment, that insight, the clarity that you're seeking. When we give ourselves permission to play, we actually open up to a higher channel of information and understanding, a deeper wisdom that helps to give you the clarity that you've been looking for outside of yourself um, and like racking your brain for it but the truth is it's right here in the present moment if we would just stop to play and receive so um, there is an app for that called one second every day oh how fun I love it yeah that's my goals like I want to just like clip together all the fun things this summer um, so yeah what would something if you were gonna have a summer of fun maybe that this will help to add to my list if you were gonna have a summer of fun what would you put on that list what goes on there right kayaking has been on our list jet skiing we just checked that one off the list um, I bought a pair of roller skates so now I'm gonna be skating around everywhere so that's a fun one so what would that fun thing um, for summer be for you I want to know because I might add it to my list all right, I'm gonna dive in. Holy smokes, I posted this earlier in the Shine Tribe and one of my uh, good friends and old coaching clients, Carly, said, I pulled that card today. So here you go, you are perfectly beautiful. This is a reminder that no matter what your shape, size, color, expression, name, all the things, like you are this beautiful divine essence that brings a quality that no one else possesses. And this is saying stop judging yourself and beating yourself up for your differences and celebrate that authentic, unique, uniqueness um, in, in a way that doesn't feel like, oh, uh, I like don't, you know, when they say fake it to make it, I've said that in the past, but I, I find a lot of people say, I, I don't resonate with that. I don't know how to fake it. So that's the thing. Like when we talk about you being authentically beautiful, you don't have to try to do anything. You just have to stop trying not to be who you are. And that is the real change when we talk about shifting into your authentic self. Um, concerts. I have two I'm going to. You're going to love this one. So Saturday night, we're going with a big group of friends to a concert to see a Fleetwood Mac cover band. I'm super pumped about that. Um, Jackie says snorkeling, snorkeling. I don't know that snorkeling in Texas Lakes is a good idea, but I will put it on the list for what wherever the next best location is that I can do that. That could be fun. I actually like snorkeled for the first time in Hawaii a few years ago and that was the first time I had felt like panic. I don't usually feel any kind of anxiety or panic but snorkeling definitely brought up a sense of panic like I was having a hard time breathing in the beginning. I'm like I should just breathe normal in and out but I am hyperventilating. <laughs> so that's a great way to challenge yourself. I love that. We live in Florida so going to see mountains this weekend. I love it. Yeah that's the thing like depending on where you live like you may be sick of the water and you just need to get to the mountains or vice versa. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, okay, you guys are so awesome. Next card, next card. These are the ones that all fell out. So when I had knocked on the deck and said, what's the intention for um, being able to express yourself? This is what came up. Remove the limiting labels you're wearing. This is one of the most powerful cards because the, we are only as strong as, as the story that we tell ourselves. So if we tell ourselves a story of I'm not good enough or any kind of limitation, too weak, too fat, too small, too strong, stupid, too poor, too whatever, not enough, whatever not enough you put in the blank that you tell yourself on repeat, this is the story that needs to be removed. This is one of the most powerful processes that we do at the goddess retreat and why I created a card and an entire lesson inside Shine School about how do you break free of the labels that you have placed on yourself. Other people may have called you or said that or made you feel like you believe that, but the truth is you have, you have the power to accept or reject. And a lot of the times those labels are influenced by other people's negative thinking. So my thought is, are the labels the ones that others have given us that we've allowed or are the labels ones in fact that we've created ourselves? Because a lot of the times I find in coaching women is that we're our own worst enemy. We're our own worst critic. There's nothing else outside of your life that is going on to stop you from achieving your goals, to receive the abundance you want. It's just you self-sabotaging or not letting yourself fully receive or fully step into who you came here to be. and and to sh and share your power. Hello, hottie. Concerts, all trails, um, um, summer sun fun. Yes, that's it, that's the vibe. We're having a fun summer. Okay, so what's the most limiting label you tell yourself? Like, what's that negative thing? What's that story that's like, I'm fat, I'm stupid, I'm bleh. Let's let that go. Let's give ourselves permission to rip it off and say, that is not me, no thank you. And give ourselves a new empowering label. Who will you be if you're not that negative thing you tell yourself? The next one is trust your intuition. She's always right. I love this card because it's a reminder that you already know the truth. Everything you need is within you, but we're too busy thinking that we can't quiet our mind enough to listen to what our heart has to say. And as we know, our heart speaks in gentle, quiet whispers as our ego is yelling and shouting and making it seem so real that the fear is like actually gonna get us. But the truth is your intuition is always guiding you with those gentle nudges, the way that you, you feel when you walk into a room, you can sense some vibes, you have a nudge when you get into a relationship and you're like, red flag, that doesn't seem right. But we seem to ignore the red flags. Oh, okay, my cat's going crazy. Uh, this is saying you know the truth, but you don't trust yourself. You know the truth, but you don't trust yourself. So how can you, how can you start to build that trust? Well, we listen to our intuition and we follow through with it every time. For example, one of the ladies in the mastermind said on our call, she wanted to share the book that she just found and started reading the power of now. Well, inside the Elevated Life Club membership, we every month uh, share what's on our bookshelf and we give book recommendations for each of the topics that we talk about. And this month was all about release and one of the books on our bookshelf for this month was The Power of Now. And Athena took a picture of it, sent it to me, and she said, holy smokes, I almost shared about this with the group, but those thoughts made me hold back. And here you are posting about the same book. She goes, I even took it to the hot tub and she had a picture of it. So why do I share this story? Because you have thoughts in your head that stop you from following through and taking action on the intuitive nudges that you receive. If you feel called to call that friend or reach out or turn left and you say, oh, well, that's silly. Why would I do that? And you ignore it. You are basically disempowering your soul and kind of creating a distance between your trust in yourself and it builds that gap. So the reason why you probably don't fully trust yourself is because you've ignored those gentle nudges over and over and over again. You don't need to feel guilty about it. You just need to recognize that's the pattern. And, and when you have an intuitive excitement that says, oh, let's do this, and you start to take action, and then you start to backpedal out of fear, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm afraid, I don't know, what am I doing? So it's like we have this like bipolar situation, like schizophrenic situation of inspired, let's take action, and then maybe you have a partner that doesn't support you so you start to back up and you don't fully shine your light or step into your full star power because that shadow is in the room. 
This is so important to recognize that all of those little gentle nudges, when you follow through on the smallest things, just like, hey, I, I've had a thought about a friend. What in the world? These animals are crazy right now. I, I love them though, because I always tell them after these lives when they're going bananas, like, thank you for teaching me how to focus and concentrate to allow the channel to keep coming through without being distracted by your BS because man, they get crazy sometimes, so love them. Um, it's in my current rotation on Audible, I love that. So here's the thing, you have these gentle nudges that are coming through all the time, and if you wanna build self-trust, you've gotta follow through and take action. I'll never forget talking about trusting our intuition. This was a lesson, how, this is how I learned it. I had been practicing psychic abilities, I had taken some classes, I had really started to dabble in all of this, and I was at the I Can Do It conference in 2014, the last time Wayne Dyer really, I think, spoke on stage uh, before he passed, and I was there, and we left to go to lunch, and on the way to lunch, we found a crystal shop, and I went in, and I heard this grandmother speak to me and say, I, that's my granddaughter, like, please share this message. And I kinda like, I freaked out, which is funny because I bought angelite, which is a crystal for communication with the angelic realm. So I'm like literally communicating and I'm freaking out. Like, I don't want to tell, tell her, like, what if she judges me? What if I sound stupid? Like, I don't know. And I withheld that gift. And I ended up, it, some magical things did unfold later. I sat down next to a woman who was like, I really want to speak to my angels. I'm like, well, here, I have a stone for that. So like I ended up getting to express magic, but I remember feeling remorse. Like I had a gift that I didn't give to that woman because I was afraid of judgment. I was afraid of like, well, what if she thinks I'm crazy? Well, who fucking cares? What if I just changed her life? Or what, I was, what if I was the first person to finally speak up and be that channel to deliver a message that she needed and I didn't follow through and I felt like oh my god I just like let myself down on trusting my intuition and like being that gift like being that divine channel and that was the learning lesson for me that's all I needed to feel was like oh my god it's like I'm, I had this beautiful gift to give and I was like no I'm not gonna give it to her what if she doesn't like it what the fuck man <laughs> so here's the thing your intuition is always trying to get you to step outside your comfort zone and it feels scary so we pull ourselves back but magic happens every time you follow through and you build self-trust in your confidence the best advice that psychic ever gave me when i first was like i don't what's happening to me <laughs> she said the most skeptical psychics are uh, the most skeptical people of psychics are the psychics themselves because they don't trust their own intuition so it's really important that you build that relationship with yourself by trusting and following through. You've got to take action. And then the last one is ask for help. It doesn't make you weak. This is so important right now because you cannot do it alone. I just had a coach book um, a session with me because she's like, I am a, I'm a hypnotist and I can do this for people. I transform their problems all the time, but why can't I do it for me? It's because some we can't we can't solve the problem that we created with the same mind. Albert Einstein taught us that. So what we have to do is get out of our mind, out of our perspective, and bounce it off of other people who have maybe a. a a uh, higher perspective for more possibility. I think that's what's important about having a coach is they open your mind to possibility. They don't tell you what to do. They just help you to look and see things more clearly from a new lens. And to me, that is, is the mark of success and growth is being able to still be in the same chaos, but be able to respond and act and see it differently to rise above the chaos and still come from a place of peace and understanding. Uh, takes fucking practice. That's for sure. <laughs> Takes lots of practice. Um, okay, thoughts, questions, ideas on what came through today. This was such a powerful message. Remember, you are perfect just the way you are. Just stop, stop being, stop being what you're not. I think that's the message here. To take off those limiting labels that you are not, the shitty things that you call yourself or that you've accepted and allowed. To trust your intuition because you know what's up and it's important for you to develop the most important relationship that you'll ever have in life and that is with yourself so that you can no matter who where what situation you're in you're in you have full confidence in yourself to be in alignment with your integrity to know what you stand for and to have boundaries that protect what feels right for you 
And the last one is to ask for help. It doesn't make you weak. There's something you need support on. There are people out there that want to help, that it would be a blessing to them to help. All you have to do is ask. So that is the message for this week. It has been so fun sharing this wisdom. Um, I think it's so important right now to really go inward, to get quiet, to spend time in meditation so that you find the clarity that you're seeking to take the next aligned action. I will be um, hosting my next in-person goddess retreat on June 14th, um, which is super exciting. So first in-person event um, in, a, in, a, in a minute. It's been maybe two years or a little like almost two years so I'm really excited to join you guys live it'll be here in Frisco in person on June 14th which is super exciting right before the summer solstice we're gonna have a good time connecting with sisterhood and letting go of all the things that are holding us back from fully shining so I'm very pumped to be joining you that for uh, live for that and speaking of live events I'll also be teaching yoga and meditation at an amazing two-day summit in July in Dallas with my friend Lindsay the founder of independent beauty pros so if you are a stylist an esthetician a massage therapist a barber if you're someone in the beauty industry and you are a solopreneur this CEO summit is meant for you to be able to take your skills to the next level to um, collaborate with a community of like-minded souls so that we can basically have collaboration over competition because as a solopreneur you can feel alone in your journey so this is going to be an event where you can connect with the industry to bounce off inspired ideas to have that next level mindset and i cannot wait to be teaching because chris will be um, teaching with me live as well so i'm super pumped to be alongside him my friends um, in the hair industry so if that's something you're interested in send me a message i will give you my special link that way you can sign up for the vip ticket that has our um, masterclass of yoga and meditation involved so i'm super pumped to be doing live events again so with that being said we'll have one more live um, in-person retreat goddess retreat at the end of the year we're planning the first week of november so if you have been wanting to join the goddess retreat send me a message so that you can get on the wait list that way you'll be one of the first people to know the private rooms always sell out so fast and all the past retreat attendees get first dibs so they usually go pretty quick so you want to be on that vip wait list so that you know as soon as it goes down so you don't miss your chance to join us I think that's it for all the announcements we are super excited to bring more inspiration we've got lots of fun changes happening in our world from the elevated life and the basically rebirthing and rebranding of my Brittany Carmichael website so many fun changes coming your way and we're even bringing back the live uh, meditation challenge so we're super pumped to bring more live aspects to the world Whew, okay I think that's it man you guys are amazing anything else you have um, shoot me a DM with your questions it's been so much fun to hang out with you if you know someone who would love this message please share it tag it whatever you got to do to spread the good vibes and I will catch you guys soon peace <laughs>